Good morning, good morning. It is uh, it's Monday, 2.36 a.m. I am on my way to the gym right now. I had uh, I volunteered for this this event. The group that I run with, they they open up the, a table that kind of gives additional information about uh, running and and how you can participate in a group. And um, they say, hey, can anybody come out and volunteer, set up a table, and and just hang out and you know talk to some people. And I volunteered to do it, and that was uh, Saturday morning, I'm sorry, Sunday morning, at about six o'clock. I think I was there at six o'clock till about 8.30. Then I went to church. And I remember as I was there, it was a, it was a different types of marathons, uh, 5K, 10K, and uh, something else. Sorry, there's something in my eye. If I can turn that off. And there was people of all shapes, sizes, forms. They called it the pancake run. And then the pancake run, you get the, I guess you get pancakes from IHOP. Uh, not necessarily for completing the race or running the race, but that's just what it was. But as I was standing inside the booth area, I couldn't help but look out and see all the different shapes, sizes of people, age difference. I could tell some people were ready to run, some people weren't ready to run. I could tell some people were seasoned, some people weren't seasoned. But I also noticed that there was a man there who was completely dressed, ready to run, had his number bib on, and he was 100% blind. I mean 100% blind with the cane blind and it got me to thinking that if a blind man could come out here and run a race what's the excuse of the person who can see has perfectly good use of their limbs and their senses but yet doesn't even show up doesn't even try doesn't even consider themselves a contender to make it happen what's their excuse what's their reason for not competing But then again, what gives them a right to complain? You see, most people won't even show up to the competition, but they'll sit back and they'll complain about the condition. 